Morning, hi, this is Travis from the National Weather Services, and this is your weather has a briefing for Thursday, April 9th. We're going to see nice weather continue today uh, as under continued high pressure, and then also tomorrow, but we'll start to see a little bit of a change tomorrow with some clouds starting to move in the area ahead of the next big system that's going to come through Saturday night into Sunday, strong cold front. We'll have some light uh, rain and snow showers with that Friday through Sunday. Um, we'll start again late Friday in the Eastern Highlands, Island Park area, and then that'll extend uh, start Saturday morning uh, elsewhere, a little bit farther south, Southeast Highlands, and then also the Central Mountains. And then the blunt of the cold front again goes through late in the afternoon, Saturday into Sunday, and we'll see some continued light um, snow showers with that, um, rain and snow showers. I'll show you the exact amounts here in a minute. The bigger impact is going to be the wind. Uh, we'll likely need a wind advisory uh, Saturday afternoon into the early evening. And then we're going to see all those warm temperatures that we've been seeing kind of dissipate and go away by s Sunday. We'll see a good uh, 23, 20 to 30 degree drop in their daytime high temperatures as well as your low morning temperatures. We'll remain in a northerly flow uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday after that, uh, gradually getting warmer but still below normal temperatures. We will have uh, weak waves kind of move through that northerly flow. Um, models are indicating Monday one moving through and kind of grazing the eastern highlands with some very light snow showers. Um, looking at the current satellite imagery, we do have a upper level low over Southern California. Again, that high pressure clear skies over us. Um, this low will kind of drift to the east. We might get a little bit of a, a rain showers right on our most southern edge on the Utah line um, late tonight into early evening, but we'll have hardly any impacts from that. Um, the, the system we're going to see is going to be up in Canada that's going to drop down. Um, and again, it's going to be dropping, it won't be dropping from the Pacific, that won't have a lot of moisture, but it'll be dropping down uh, straight north and it's not really in the, in the view yet um, that will impact us Saturday night into Sunday. Um, I talked about this a little bit, we'll start to see winds increase across Snake River Plain and Magic Valley um, Friday night. We'll see a little bit of winds as well tonight, and I'll show you those kind of coming gap winds, uh, kind of indicating a good change. But I uh, should have put that on here. Um, that's going to mainly be in our uh, Snake Plain and South uh, um, South Hills. I'll show you that. But the, again, we're going to see the winds increase Friday ahead of that system for Saturday. And then again, those slight chances of rain and snow showers. Snow levels will be around 6,000 feet, 6,500, but. Um, and that will also continue into Saturday. Still, still see those in kind of a northwest flow, and then to gradually move across to all the area. Not really looking for too much um, precip across the Snake Plain in the Eastern Magic Valley, um, but if we do get some when the cold front goes through Saturday night into Sunday, we may actually see some snow in the valley floors. Again, that's some really cold air coming in. I likely need a wind advisor in these three areas here, and then as far as our snow mounts in the Eastern Magic. Eastern Highlands about two to four inches, um, mainly above 6,000, maybe 6 to 7,000 feet. Um, again, on Friday and Saturday, they'll start out quite high and then drop by Saturday night. Um, but a lot of the precip will be, will be through us. In the Sawtooth and Limhi area, about one to three inches, and I'll show you those charts here in a minute. We'll continue with some breezy northerly flow dropping down, maybe even a chance of wind chill, a really cool. Um, across the Monada Pass area and Upper Snake Plain, and I'll show you that. But just kind of a breezy northerly flow, kind of a, on Sunday, and then uh, again the northerly flow continuing. And there's that weak way that I mentioned a little bit on Monday, going through the eastern highlands. So our temperature today really nice, a good uh, eight to twelve degrees above normal. And then again, which uh, this is an indicator of a pattern change. We'll see some overnight and some gap winds um, for you know six hours or so kind of going through the gaps um, kind of a good indicator of a big change coming with the, with the pressure changing um, that'll be this evening and then as far as high temperatures they'll drop a little bit but still be above normal on Friday so we start to see some cloud covers and some light showers kind of move through the area mainly our eastern highlands and then later um, late Friday night and Saturday we'll start to see them hit the central mountains a little bit as well so our wind gusts uh, tomorrow afternoon into the evening you see here mainly out in the Snake River Plain. Um, it does it does pick up though as we start to see uh, um, ahead of that next system moving in. Here's our Saturday temperatures um, about the same as Friday. Drop a little bit more. Um, 
And then as we go into Saturday, you start to see late afternoon here, the wind speeds, and then as you go into early evening, even stronger. So again, likely to see a wind advisory in the eastern Magic Valley, southern Snake Plain, as well as our southern areas down here, uh, maybe extending in the upper Snake Plain. Um, but that's kind of borderline at this point. And then our temperatures, you can see we start to see a, a really good um, drop in temperatures. They're below freezing, so if we have any precip, most of the precip's through, except in the mountains. Um, but if we do see any, we have just a kind of a trace uh, along the valley floors, but not looking at that at this point. And then here's our overall snow amounts through the whole system, again, one to three in our northern, northwestern areas here, Central Mountains, Lemhi, and then our eastern highlands, Island Park, maybe a little bit of the southeastern highlands. The uh, Big Hole Mountains, two to four inches, Island Park area, two to four, and then one to three, as I mentioned. And then we have that northerly flow. We'll have a chance of wind chill, that good, strong um, northerly flow on Sunday morning. Um, and then it'll extend a little bit in the afternoon as well. And then here's our wind chill in the morning. You can see that's uh, purples and negative 5 and negative 10 in some of these areas. But as you kind of get where people, uh, more where people live, uh, single digits, which is still quite cold. And then our high temperature Sunday, you can see in the 40s, which is that's a good 30 degree drop, you know, um, from what we we're seeing today in the you know, 70. Low temperatures Monday morning are well below freezing across the area, as of note, and uh, and then high temperatures Monday are still in the 40s, and you'll see the gradual increase to the 50s on Tuesday as we start to clear out, and uh, a little bit better on Wednesday, but not much. So that concludes. The, well, not quite concluded. So just a quick summary, uh, the nice weather will continue today. Good 70 degrees, eastern Magic Valley and here, and then we have a really good strong cold front moving through Saturday night into Sunday, but the bigger impact will be the wind from that. We'll likely need a wind advisory, um, particularly for our eastern Magic Valley, southern um, Snake Plain and, and our southern highlands. We'll see some snow with that, one to three in the central mountains, Limhigh, and two to four in the Big Holes, Hunt Creek Pass, Island Park area. Um, but, but it's not going to have a lot of moisture with it. The bigger impact would just be the drop in the colder temperatures and the wind. And then we have just a, a weak northerly flow set up for a couple days after that, Monday, Tuesday, and, um, and then we have a, a, a weak wave dropping through on Monday with some really light snow showers over the Island Park area. That concludes the brief. If you have any questions, give us a call at this number. Thank you.